I'm Lisa, so it's your girl Adriana, and y'all, today God is actually having me to testify, but also give a word, okay? So, this, these, these, <laughs> this testimony, these testimonies, um, will be related to this word that God is blessing me to give to y'all, okay? So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into it. About three or four weeks ago, um, I had wound up, um, how can I say this without giving it away, okay? Because I can't say it, I can't talk about it yet, but, um... God had me to go and do something, and and um, in this case, um, you know, you have to fill out something, and then they have to approve it, then they have to send it to you, whatever this thing is, right? So um, I went to, um, I did that, got approved, and um, the thing was it's supposed to take up to, uh, it can take long, but in this case, um, it was going to take up to, you know, three or four weeks, right? Or uh, four to six weeks. Well, um, so that means that, I should be getting my, um, they said that it would come back around June, you know, June 8th from May. It could come from May 5th through June 8th, right? So, um, recently they said it was going to come on January, uh, I said January, June 1st, which is tomorrow, right? So, uh, me just, me just, you know, thinking like, okay, well, um, it's going to come between this time, right? I'm like, okay, okay, I know how much I expect this. So, um, recently I was thinking I was getting closer to June. So I'm like, okay, let me just go ahead and, um, track, you know, cause it's going, it's coming through UPS, I mean, USPS. And, um, I was just like, let me just go ahead and track it. You know, let me track it. So I signed up for the little emails and for the, um, uh, emails and for the text messages for it to come to my phone to make sure that I don't miss it. Right. Y'all. Tell me why, um, I want to say it was, it was last week, it was last week, right? And, uh, I got an email and a, um, notification to my phone, like, that it's coming, and I was just like, okay, like, yeah, it's coming on Jun, uh, June, I keep saying January, June 1st, so, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know it's coming, you know? So, tell me why the next day, or two days after, um, it had said, um, that it was about to be here, uh, I had just made sure, y'all, just to make sure uh, what day uh, it was actually. So, it was the next day. Uh, so, on Friday is when they sent me the uh, message saying that it was uh, in transition. The next day on Saturday is when they sent uh, sent me um, a email and a, um, a text message. Basically saying, like, it has already departed already been uh departed uh from the facility and that takes me there at two something in the morning i'm like uh and i was already up so i was just like okay you know so uh and keep in mind y'all at first i didn't even know that you know usps delivered on the weekends however they do deliver on the weekends they just i, I don't i think they don't deliver on sundays i think i don't know but the thing was i was surprised because in my mind they didn't deliver on the weekend so i'm like jesus like okay it's coming to me on the weekend too okay cool so um after that um i want to say after uh they sent me that message then not too long like it was like a couple of hours later like around 11 something and they let me know that it was already delivered and i was just like oh my god so you know i'm excited at the moment at the moment because i'm just like this thing that i've been waiting for is finally here and it came faster than i thought so i'm ready to get it and when i went to it i was just like oh my gosh like yeah jesus is it but the thing was the package i was thinking like well i know it was gonna be in the big package package but uh, the package when I looked at it like I, I thought it was gonna come in this um, in another type of package but I never like keep in mind I never had this package before so I just thought it was gonna come in this another type of package um, you know but it came in another type of package in another uh, way um, uh, unexpected like I wasn't expecting this package but the the package there was nothing wrong with it. it fed just right for this size package like the package fed just right for the the thing that was in it it was just right it wasn't too big it wasn't too small but it was just right to secure it so i was like cool y'all when i opened this um package up i didn't know how it was supposed I, I i had a vision of like i knew kind of how it was supposed to look because of you know um just because i i knew kind of like from what it could look like before like you know i can't say too much y'all but um the thing was it was better than what i thought and it had everything that i needed in it so i was just like wow so I was just like, I was super excited. I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. Uh, sent it to my mom and everything like that. And she was just like, you know, congratulations. That was the first congratulations of the day, y'all. My first congrat, well, not in general, in my life, but in that day. This day where the package came. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, have your way. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so the, the day that the package had came, 
was uh, the day that the package came, after I received the package, I, I sent it to my mom and she said, congratulations. And I was just like, oh my God, I was just so happy. I'm so happy, right? So um, I, I got time to, you know, put it up. I, I Like, you know, all day I was excited. Huh, you know all that stuff and then um i put it up somewhere safe just so it won't get lost but y'all let me just i want to go back just a little bit okay let's go back just a little bit so time before i got my package i was wondering and i was you know thinking at times like would my package get lost you know because this this package although it's so significant it's a uh, the the size of it like it could get lost you know um from the outer appearance it can get lost although it carries so much weight it can still like i was thinking like it can get lost because of the size but then as i started to think it can get lost because it has my name on it so even if it was to get lost it has to come back to me because it has my name on it it has my address on it it has everything on it it has my info on it so it has to come back to me even if it's lost, it has to come back to me. And it's not that it can't be found because it has everything that... It has my name, it has my address, it has everything that it needs to find me. Right? So, once I once I actually got the... Um, once I got the... Um, um, my package, that's what came to my mind about. Because uh, recently, I remember uh, uh, listening to um, uh, one, two of the ministries that I'm actually under... Um, Falakami and Tony. Uh, her name is Tony, and then one is Falakami. They two different um, ministries, but I remember both of them talking about the same thing. They was talking about packages, and during that time, I had received a package too uh, unexpectedly, and that was a really big. This is all ties together, and I can't wait to like. I'm right now. I'm showing you know the smaller testimonies, but there are bigger testimonies coming, y'all. I'm telling y'all in Jesus' name, and this is a big testimony too. It's just not as big as the one that's about to happen, but y'all. Um, when I tell y'all, uh, they were talking about it before, and they talked about it at different times. One talked about it like probably a while back, and one talking about it probably like probably a couple of maybe some weeks ago. I don't know, but now it's like it's called it's happening to me, and I'm just like wow. And it, it brought me back to that revelation, and I was thinking like wow, like it came faster than I thought came faster than I thought y'all it came faster than I thought I in the natural that what what it told me was something different than what I got right so Holy Spirit guide me Lord so God in this in this time I believe and I know that God he is doing a new thing he's doing a new thing and he's doing it faster than we think than we expect Okay, you know, in the natural eye, it will tell us one thing, but when it's God, it will just pop up because nothing can track God. Nothing can track God. God would do it untrackably. Like, that's the thing. And that's the, the main, the gist of this, this whole thing, y'all, that with God, you know, it can look one way in the natural. But it can be a whole nother thing. And it's always another thing in the spirit realm. The enemy will tell you one thing. I'm not saying that the other package was the enemy, but I'm just giving you a, you know, a scenario, like a, how to look at the the situation right so yeah and to show you one thing in the natural to make it sometimes to make you think you got all the time in the world or you know that it's going to be like this or it's going to be this way when really behind the scenes it's not going to be that way especially if god told you and y'all think let's hey so the messages yeah i signed up i chose to sign up for the messages and the emails so that i can make sure i receive them i put my my um number in there my email just to make sure i submitted it to them to make sure that it got to me so in this case i just say for instance you submit your prayers to god god promised you something you submitted to him right tell me why uh, i said tell me why after that i had i'm going i'm, I'm going back y'all just for y'all can get it so i started to receive messages just to like you know let me know you know at times like when we would be in and stuff like that that's how god would do you when you talk to God, when you when you submit yourself to God and submit every like your plans to Him, He'll lead you and guide you, and He'll start giving you information that you don't know. Because in the natural, in the natural, it'll look like something different than what God has told you. But that's why, oh Jesus! So you know, that's why we have to stay in God. We have to stay in God so we can make sure that every time God speaks to us, we're able to know what He's saying, and not even just what he, well, yeah, what He's saying, but also God, He downloads different things to you. He'll tell you when something is about to happen. He'll let you know when to go to somewhere he'll know what to he'll tell you what and what not to do he'll let you know when something is on the way and when something is not on the way this, just how those text messages once i signed up for i had to do my part 
and I signed up for the uh, messages and the emails to come to me so I would be able to know when my uh, package would get here. Just like how I did my part and signed up for it, that's how God wants you to do with him. Do your part. Go to him and submit your request onto him. And Oh, y'all. All that speak got caught up. Uh, excuse me. Lord. Anyway, uh, I did my part and I signed up for the emails and you know the text messages just to make sure that my package got to me on time. That's how God wants us to do to him. Like, you know, submit our request onto him. I didn't have to go literally to the facilities or anything. I didn't have to go nowhere. I just had to to do my part and be still and when my package came it came if i would have never signed up for the updates though if i would have never uh, never did what was necessary my package if it, if someone was to go wrong with it i wouldn't have knew i wouldn't have knew if i uh if i wanted to sign up for it to come to my email i wouldn't have knew it wouldn't have came to my email it would have told me the day that it was here it would have told me the day that it was here if that's the only time but the thing is i want i don't want to know just when it's going to come because they told me that it was going to come on june 1st so I want to know, okay, what's going on with it in the meantime? Because if it get lost, I want to make sure that, you know, I still be able to get it and then I can do make the necessary moves. So just like that, when God just say, for instance, if it's looking one way in the natural, um, it's looking like one way in the natural, y'all, I could you not. And it's not even just about the natural, y'all. It's when you have a relationship with God, just say when you submit yourself to God, when you submit your request to God, that's when you know god is able to like when you get out your hands first you have to get out your hands get it out your hands by submitting it to god giving it to god and then when you do that it allows god to move on your behalf he'll start telling you things and the more time you spend with god the more time he will download to you and y'all when i tell you like i spend time with god but in the same time sometimes i find myself not spending as much time with god and that's something that i still have to work on every day but one thing i will say when i spend time with god and actually want to listen to God because sometimes we have like in this walk you're not going to always want to like make not it's not that you don't want to make time for God it just sometimes you just don't feel like it but I'm telling you that's the time where I feel like we should you know spend more time with God because that's literally uh, a spirit of exhaustion and if you don't have to be tired sometimes you just don't feel like doing it to do it even more okay so but uh not to get off topic but that's just um uh, something to throw out there um uh, just, just to go and got a little bit more y'all to really go into god a little a little bit more uh, a lot bit more actually and to listen to him because when you are listening to him he's able to download to you and start telling you things that nobody knows but him you know and it's amazing because when, or when you have a good relation or not a good and strong relationship with god god will tell you things he will tell you things to look for he'll tell you what not to do and y'all when i tell y'all it's so true it's so true a lot of things has happened in my life and especially with this year in uh towards the end of last year y'all when i started to, god started speaking to me speaking to me more supernatural i started to actually understand god's voice and i realized that it's from within you it's god he talks in you like it's a voice in you that is him you know he lives in us and that's the holy spirit so yeah he talks he really talks y'all like i he's a he's he's who he said he is jesus is who he say he is so i'm telling you if you just go to him and sometimes it take a little more time like with me uh i know god my whole life but i didn't really start hearing god until i started making time for god a lot more time because when you spend more time like that's just like a relation when you spend more time with that person you're able to know how they feel you're able to understand that voice so even if you're not with that person like by that person you can still you know their voice just like with god i knew god's voice after i spent so much time with him like even if i'll go somewhere god would tell me uh, -uh you don't want to do that or you don't want to eat that or you don't want to no, that's not where to go. You don't want to say that. Like, he'll start telling you what to say and what to do. Really, y'all. So, uh, the key is to spend more time with God. And when you, you know, submit your prayers unto God um, and submit whatever that request is, leave it at God's feet. Like, give it to God and then let him start, you know, uh, the more you talk to God, you will start saying for yourself. Like, he'll start downloading to you, you know, talking to you and showing you what is to come. Okay, so just like those messages they kept giving me, once I signed up for, once I did my part, the facility, they did their part, and I got my package sooner than I expected. Sometimes you can delay your own um, your own blessing because of you. It don't have to be necessarily because of the enemy. Sometimes it can be you not doing what you're supposed to do in the meantime. God speaks all the time, but it's about if we're going to listen or not. And I have recently felt victim, like not victim to that, but I have literally did that like recently and i'm like oh jesus like my god but a lot of the time god has been telling me to rest but it's not just you know resting in the natural it's uh you know trusting him 
So once you then let it go and you gave it to God, um, you know, give you the updates. And the only way that you can know that he's giving you the updates is to be connected to him. Is to be submitted to him. This is how I submitted my, uh, you know, my number and my email to the facility that may I submitted my, you know, submitted my stuff to them, my info to them. So you have to submit yourself to God and let God give you those update, updates. And it happened sooner when I did it that way. I was still looking at the natural because the natural told me one thing for us is that it was going to be here on January 1st, which is tomorrow. And I want to be getting it three days beforehand. So I'm just saying, y'all actually, I think yeah, three days beforehand because it was Saturday. So yeah, y'all, that's the, that's um, one of the testimonies that I wanted to share. Like, and that's what, um, that's also a revelation, y'all. So yeah, my package came that I, what I was expecting to come um, tomorrow. It came three days early and it was a big pack. Oh, it's a big, pa it's a significant significant package i should say and it's um it was something that i've been really, really looking forward to that uh to that package okay so now i'm just like i'm excited but this is to say y'all you know um you see how that miracle that i just shared with y'all if i just would have told y'all from the beginning y'all that my package came y'all would just been like because i knew me if i didn't if god if i didn't have the perspective that I should have had or that uh, that God gave me if I didn't give if I didn't have that perspective but I just looked at the natural I would have misused it and y'all it is raining y'all look it is raining it's raining really bad hold on it is raining but yes y'all um I would have overlooked it and it, there was nothing to overlook but it's all about how you see the miracle because that was if anybody else would have been like oh that's not a miracle that's just you know coming to get a package but no nah, y'all is you have it, you have to change your perspective of the miracle although it was a smaller miracle than the miracle that i'm looking for it was still a miracle okay and that actually bring me to the word that we're going to get into again part of the word i don't want to say the word i'm about to get into it's all a part of the word but um this is leading me um to the scripture that um god blessed me with and it was um it was hold on y'all i have to go back to um you remember I think my last post about um, you know overlooking the small blessings and things of that sort, right? Tell me why, y'all. Oh my gosh, it's like really storming, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't like to be in the rain, but it's okay. I like I love the rain, but I don't like to be in it, you know. Especially I want to get my hair wet. My little bangs ain't really, but you know what? It's it's all good. It's all cool. But uh, what I'm about to say, um, y'all remember the the last. Um, live that I did, I was talking about overlooking the small blessings, and y'all, that's that's the thing. You know, Ahab he went out there uh, as Elijah had him to, but he overlooked the blessing because he was expecting something um, bigger. You know, because you know he was told that it was going to be a a great sound of um, a rain or something like that. I don't know the whole story, y'all. I don't know, but you know that he was looking for a great sound of rain. There was going to be a great sound of rain coming, or you know that rain was about to come. That was the the main message, you know, that it was going to come down. You know, but he overlooked that small cloud. The the cloud when he looked the seven times, the cloud was I think above the sea. Uh, but it was a small cloud. But that's where that small from that small cloud came a huge abundance of rain. So just like, you know, the things that God do in our life, the small miracles, you know, this wasn't even small, but even waking us up was so, waking us up is one of the biggest miracles in our life, in Jesus' name. It's so gracious, because if we don't live, if we don't get to wake up, then, you know, how are we going to get everything else, right? So I think a lot of times we take that for granted, too. But yeah, y'all, it's just all about how you see it, because you will miss it so many times until you realize, until you have no choice but to believe it. Oh, these people are running, y'all. Hold on. Oh, I wish I could see it these people are running i'm sorry i'm not even trying to get uh distracted it was just but yeah y'all um yeah the, this is all about how you see it you know your perspective of the miracle because god he literally showed me that because you know a lot of times we overlook what god is doing and god is like i'm blessing you right now you know we can't take a little we cannot take the blessings for granted we can't take the miracles for granted although it's not what we what we see in our mind because when ahab he thought i probably i'm pretty sure he probably thought like okay if it's a great abundance of rain coming then it's got to come from the sky like you know a great big sky because that's where the rain come from it came from a small a small cloud and i think uh i don't know the whole story but i know it was a small cloud that this big abundance of rain came from so sometimes don't you overlook the little miracles that's going to produce the big miracles 
just like this package it was it's a had so much big significance it has a, a, a significance a big significance however it's in a small package and i thought i could have lost it but submitted to lose it and plus i couldn't lose it because i submitted it to god and that, that mean it has my name on it once i paid it it had my name on it once i got that receipt it has my name on it i paid gave me the receipt that was mine and they was able to get the labels for it because it has my name on it my address on it so when you submit it to god it already well god when god already predestined this world so it's already yours whatever is yours is yours um so yeah but yeah y'all change your perspective you know oh my gosh it is raining y'all but uh also the um while well, I'm sharing this testimony is to um, also encourage y'all to start sharing small blessings, what you think is small or, you know, even small uh, miracles. Start sharing those things. You know, don't overlook it because God is doing those things and you never know where your miracle is going to come from. It could come from the small things that you're not even like thinking about, you know, sharing with, to encourage your fellow, you know, brothers and sisters in Christ. Don't overlook the small miracles. Start sharing your blessings. I don't care if you have to come on here and be like, y'all, your girl ate a filet mignon or, you know, or your boy didn't got, um, what? What? Something like, it could be anything. Y'all, I don't know. Your boy didn't make, you know, something, um, a miracle, y'all. Just anything that you feel like, oh my gosh, like, um, if paying your rent, God bless me to pay my rent. Hey, that's a blessing by itself. God bless me to pay my car notes. Share that testimony because I'm, I'm telling y'all, it will encourage somebody else. Start sharing those testimonies. Those are those are miracles. You overlook the you overlook them because you sometimes we get so focused on the big thing. But those small miracles, being able to pay your rent, being able to eat food, be able to you know drink water, just being able to be in shelter. You know, I don't care if you living with somebody or if you stay in a shelter. You you have somewhere to lay your head. Okay. So at the end of the day, rejoice. No matter what, be thankful and encourage others. Okay, encourage others. You don't know nobody going. God had me, uh, led me to Acts 26, 22, and 23. Um, and it was in my mind because I was just like, hmm. But uh, it says, but God has helped me to this very day. So I stand here and testify to small and great alike. I am saying nothing beyond what the prophets and Moses said would happen. The Messiah will suffer and as the first to rise from the dead will bring the message to light to his people and to the Gentiles. So even to the unbelievers and to the believers, his people, you know, he going to still do what he said he was going to do. For, like, for God's glory, he's going to do what he said he's going to do. And God going to do it his way. And y'all, honestly, I'm just, I'm thankful. So be thankful of the small things. Sure, because I'm telling you, it's going to bless all God's people. The ones that are saved and the ones that are not saved. So if you pay your rent. Thank you. Like, make it public. Thank you, Jesus. You ain't got to have everybody in your business, but God, he came through for me. As big or small as that. It's like, just make sure you give God glory and thank God in the meantime and testify to what God is doing now. So when the big testimony come, they, they like, it's going to be just under, it's going to be, you know, amazing. It's going to be undeniable. It's going to be, like, I don't know how to even explain this feeling but it's going to be you know so amazing because you thank god the whole time you're going to be very much so grateful of it because you uh actually didn't take god's blessings you know even the small things that you probably consider small you didn't take them for granted you know so yeah y'all also um i believe he gave me matthew 17 and 20 and it says he replied um because you have so little faith truly i tell you if you have faith as small as a mustard seed you shall say to this mountain how of uh, how i mean if you, ugh, sorry y'all uh it says uh you shall say to this mountain um move let me repeat it only because I want to make sure I say every word right. It says in Matthew 17 and 20, he replied, because you have so little faith. Truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. And um, also he gave me, uh, I was, yeah, Luke in 18, 27, it says Jesus replied, what is impossible? Oh, and that's when I had stopped. But it's like, what is in, um, possible with man is possible with God. And uh, um, everything it takes faith to please God, okay. And y'all, we, we're closing now, but in the same sense, I just want y'all to know that, um, everything it does, you know, take faith. You know, you have to believe that God is who He say He is first, but also, you 
also have to receive that, um, you know, God can do what no man can do. You know, things that are impossible with man are possible with God. Whatever you feel like is impossible in life, it's possible with God. You just have to believe it, you know. And um, the thing is, you don't have to have the greatest faith in the world. He said a, a mustard side seed, a seed of a, a mustard side seed. Literally, it says the size of a mustard seed, a mustard seed. So if you have faith as small as a mustard seed and God look up a mustard seed and see how small that is. If you have the faith, if you just believe that much, you're still pleasing to God and he's still going to do it. You can say literally move and it'll do it'll move just as you said it is just because you believe. So he's expecting you to have the the most faith in the world, but he is expecting you to have faith. That's the way to that's that's how you're going to get to know God by faith. That's how you're going to be able to receive what he has because the thing is he's spirit. You can't see him. So you have to believe that he is who he say he is because you can't see him. So you will have to believe you have to have faith and know that he actually is who he say he is without actually seeing him. So yeah, y'all, um, when I say y'all, God is doing it. Y'all, God is really doing it. And also, uh, the miracles that God is doing, y'all don't overlook them. Because those small miracles can literally produce big miracles. The miracle that you've been waiting for. So don't overlook it. And y'all share these share these testimonies. That was the key too. To share these testimonies. No matter how big or small they are. Share them. Because they're going to encourage your brother and sister in Christ. Share them. And they could encourage you know, the Gentiles. People that don't believe. Y'all share them. Share the good news of God. That's the main point of this video. Share it. Okay. And um, also what I want wanted to uh, let y'all know was that same day I received two more congratulations so I have received or four but I know for sure three total congratulations um and y'all may seem like that's not a lot for one day three congratulations and it wasn't about just that package that I got it was about things that concerned the big thing right it was at the nail shop when I had got um uh, uh congratulations when i was leaving the nail shop and it was also um uh, for my granny she told me congratulations about something too i can't get into all of this what's going on only you know when god had me you know, i'm just be quiet god is good y'all and at the end of the day y'all all of us are being blessed you just have to change your perspective okay all right so without further ado y'all let's get into the salvation call in jesus name says in Romans 10 and 9 that if you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved so without further ado let's get right into it so y'all repeat after me say Father God Yahweh I declare with my mouth that Jesus is Lord that Jesus is Lord and I rebuke you saying in Jesus mighty name y'all let me hold on let's go let's go back because I have to just rebuke the enemy because the devil is a liar in Jesus name no weapon formed against me or my loved ones and I shall prosper in Jesus mighty name in the name of Jesus and y'all keep doing do for when when the enemy feel like he got some over you expect don't ever let him feel like he got something over you because he has nothing over you okay you have authority over him so y'all let's redo this salvation walk and I'm just I put it out there just for y'all can be able to do the same thing you use the word of God with everything okay to denounce the enemy that's the only way that he'll leave okay so father God of Yahweh I declare with my mouth that Jesus is Lord I believe in my heart that you, Father God of Yahweh, you raised him from the dead. I am saved in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And uh, y'all, those who have gotten saved, um, congratulations. And y'all, this is not going to be the first congratulations that you hear. Just watch how God moves in your life in Jesus' name. And I rebuke you, Satan, in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against my loved ones and I shall prosper in Jesus' name. And y'all, it's a scripture in the Bible. Uh, it says that God has given us authority um, over uh, to trample on serpents and scorpions serpents and scorpions and over all of the power of the enemy and that nothing shall by any means harm us so y'all when you know your authority you have to learn your authority you have to understand that we have authority over the enemy so when we say something when we if we really believe in god's word y'all and sometimes y'all is we all you know fall short to this but if we really just believe in god's word and not by just, you know, doctrine alone, but by faith, you know, really believing in his world, just believing that it's going to happen or, you know, when you speak it, that it's done. Y'all, that literally, you cancel the enemy out, especially when God has already told you that he has given you authority over the enemy's power. The enemy has no power. He only have the power that you give him. Okay. So when you speak it, just know that it's done. And that is for me too. Cause sometimes like a lot of time I have to keep saying it until I'm just like, you know what, Ty. And I'm just like, 
you guys said with some, you know, some oomph in it, you know? So, yeah, y'all, we got to really, we, us as a whole, we got to do better, okay? And really just put God's word to, to, to work, you know? It can't, like, he didn't give us too much. So, with that being said, y'all, I love y'all. And remember that God love y'all more. Yahweh love y'all more. Jesus love y'all more. Love y'all more. Holy Spirit love y'all more, okay? It's been real. Deuces.